Okay, here we go with the foil for the weights for the Honda Ruckus. If you look, here is the first piece of foil. Ah, I dropped it. Here is the first piece. It is 5-0. And then here's the next piece. Uh, 5 0. And then this piece. Hmm. 4 6. I need to add a little bit more. Five oh four point nine, something like that. Okay, so now I have to do is fit these into these four point oh sliders. These are all fours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put these in here, and then I'll s and then I will swap them into the ruckus with the fours that are currently in there. I'll be give me just a moment to. Put these together. These four gram weights are now four and a half. Close to four and a half. Actually, they're all both closer to 4.55. Oh, not that one. Four point, yeah, about 4.5 a piece. To get this to stuff in here is much harder than you would imagine stuffing foil into a hole would be. Anyways, let's get these installed and then we can do the test drive tomorrow with tomorrow morning's vlog. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take off my ankle biter cover. Switch to the 17 millimeter. Take out the drive face. Weigh out the fours. Is this? Oops. Is this the four? So that means this is the four, and this is the four. So we'll put the experimental foil fours in, flat side up. So there we go. I got the 4.5 and the 5.5s in. We're moving from 4.0 grams and 5.5 grams to 4.5 grams and 5.5 grams if this works and like it's great then I don't really have to buy any more sliders I can micro adjust these with the amount of foil and the amount of foil that I stuck in there just to get half a gram was a lot of foil so it would be easier to put a quarter gram a quarter gram of foil anyways let's get this reinstalled and then tomorrow we'll do the test ride with it, going to work on tomorrow's vlog. Okay, it is now installed with the uh, foil weights. Let's see tomorrow. It's time to go to bed. We'll wake up and we will test it. By the way, that is 200 miles in the dirty Kansas that my brother rode twice on a bike on gravel roads. A hundred mile Maisie which I think he did several times, but look on the right, only a half a marathon. Still, that's a lot of miles on a bicycle. Time for a Philip. I will make this as quick as possible. You guys must get bored having to watch me put gas in my vehicles all the time.
Everything's zero. Let's see what we get today. All right, while we warm up the CVT transmission, let's have a conversation about Las Vegas. Las Vegas is having a, I think it's AIM, American International Motorcycle Expo, uh, October 24th, or October 20th to 24th, or something like that. I think I'm going to try to go to that. That would be cool. I could go record some stuff about some new bikes, uh, or old bikes. Maybe some Chinese vendors. Uh, I mean, it says international, so I'm assuming imports like Harley won't be there and stuff like that. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and if you think you're going to go, maybe we could meet up, hang out. You could be in a video. Let's see. Update on the LaFon. I have not taken it to the dealership yet, but my wife will try to get someone with a friend with a truck to take it up there. Uh, she told me to send her the address. It's off of Fondren, so it's about 20-something miles away from here. Hopefully, uh, that'll happen. I'd like to get it there before Saturday, but if Saturday is the day that it's going to make it there, then I guess that's just when it's going to make it there. So, you saw the foil sequence, and the foil in there. Does anyone out there see any drawback to messing with your weights with foil? I mean, far as I can tell, so far, from holding it and stuff, it's not gonna fly out, because that stuff's jammed in there. It doesn't look like it's gonna burn out, or at least, not that I'm aware of, but we'll see, right? I mean, it comes recommended on the internet, and you know, you have to believe everything that you see on the internet. So imagine, I could uh, take my 5 gram weights that I have, because I've right now I have 4.5 and 5.5. I could take my 5.5 out, put my 5 gram weights in, and put a quarter, a quarter gram inside of it, and then have a uh, 4 and a quarter. But so far, really, all I've effectively added is 1.5 grams of mass into my rotation of my uh, CVT transmission. But we'll see. Hopefully I can keep my RPM up. I can tell that I'm accelerating slower. Yesterday's 45.6 was an amalgamation of the entire day. So drafting or not drafting, that's how fast I was able to go. So far I'm already winning. It says here 47.8. So, so far it seems like it's making a difference. Alright, it's clearing up a little bit. Make it across the intersection. So it feels like I'm going one mile per hour faster than normal with a full headwind because there's really no cars in front of me effectively. Oh, wait, 45. And for those of you that don't know anything about the ruckus, one mile per hour gains is like something to brag about. Remember, this is 49 cc's. So for every point, if you can go 50 miles per hour, for every point oh one 
cubic centimeter, you're getting a mile per hour. Now, you can't say that with your, your Honda Grom or your Z125 or your Harley, because if your Harley is 1800 cc, then that means you should go 1800 miles per hour if you're using the same math as a ruckus. So, the next time you feel like making fun of a small cc that can only go 45, 55, 45 to 55 miles per hour, remember the amount of tuning it goes into to make it push out that much speed and then use that power ratio equivalent to whatever you're riding now and then feel shameful. Anyways, let's see how she performs in a headwind. Normally a headwind is about 41, 42. Yeah, it's pretty on par right now. light so back to the expo if anyone's going to the expo let me know if anyone's thinking about going to the expo now that they know about it let me know i'm going to put a link in the description below so they can uh see what it's all about now there's a dealer link where you can be a dealer when you go in and then there's a uh what's it called oh just a, a visitor wanting to see the experience of motorcycles internationally from international waters. I don't know really fully what it means, but I'll find out. There we go again. See, once I warm up, I accelerate much better. accelerate but I'm going faster because 44 as a I've seen 44 pop up a lot as an average for today's ride. One, AIM Expo. I'm going to put that link in the description. Look at it. If you think it's something cool and it's something nearby that you'd like to go to, go to it. It sounds like fun and it's not expensive. I mean, unless you don't live near there and you have to fly or drive. But anyways, beside the point. Uh, the tickets are cheap. Second foil in your sliders now okay i don't know about your rollers because i don't know how that would work since rollers roll well, well, whatever it might cause flat spots especially if it's an uneven wear inside of the uh it's an uneven roll but anyways foil in your sliders good alternative to micro tuning your weights if anyone has any questions if anyone has any comments about what I have done today, please. I need to get to the left. Where was I? Uh, comments. Leave a comment below. Like the video. Dislike the video. Subscribe. Did I say comment already? Well, anyways, comment on the video. I love discussion. I love responding to people's posts. That would be wonderful if I could get a conversation about the foil thing because I don't think very many people have tried it yet. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.